Hey everyone, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are comparing the Persil 714 against the Persil 714 SM. But first off, we have to thank today's video sponsor, ShadeReviewStore.com, the absolute best place to buy designer sunglasses for up to 80% off the original MSRP. Again, that's our own website, ShadeReviewStore.com. So both these frames were styled off the originals, which were originally released all the way back in the 1960s, and they were a folding version of the Persil 649. They were actually the first ever pair of folding sunglasses. And basically what we have here is the original 714 and then the special edition, which are the Steve McQueen edition, which have the 714 SM variant to them. So let's go ahead and pop on the 714 SM. And again, these are the special edition Steve McQueen sunglasses. And the biggest difference between these two sunglasses is the way the temples fold in. So here on the uh, SM version, we can see they actually have two little arrows here on the outside uh, where the temple folds in. So here we can see that the temple actually folds in just like this on the Steve McQueen edition or the SM edition. And then if we take a look here at the uh, non-Steve McQueen edition, the temples actually fold down. So that is the biggest difference in the telltale sign here uh, between the Steve McQueen edition and the regular. So the folding mechanism, as you can see, is completely different than of course the fact that the uh, SM version also have the uh, pretty arrows here on the outside temple, uh, where where the regular version is just more utilitarian with just a little piece of chrome here and it doesn't look quite as good in my opinion. Now going in a little bit more in depth to the hinge here, some people don't like the Steve McQueen edition because when you fold it in, depending on how this is adjusted of course, it's actually going to kind of rub here against the frame. So as you can see it's actually rubbing against the frame uh, right here and you got to kind of push it past that and then it actually sits flush right here. But it's kind of, you know, being tweaked at an angle that entire time, which is definitely annoying. And it's also on the other temple. So you can see it's kind of bending the frame to actually get it there. So it's kind of bending it and twisting it here on the Steve McQueen edition. Now these frames are extremely durable and I actually uploaded a little video a couple days ago showing you how durable the 714 are, which they're very durable. So they definitely can take it. However, that just doesn't feel very premium, especially considering that these are the, you know, limited edition Steve McQueen uh, sunglasses. We're here with the non-Steve McQueen edition, these fold down. So again, these fold down just like this and then they fold up and then it's really not making contact with the uh, rim of the sunglasses at all. So this is really the better way to do a hinge, in my opinion. It's not going to you know, scratch the frames or make them uh, bend or twist them nearly as much as it would on the Persil Steve McQueen edition. But unfortunately, with the fold down hinge here, we can see it's definitely a lot sharper than it is on the Steve McQueen edition with the two arrows. So potentially, uh, it can scratch the inside of the lens here. It will touch if you do press on it or if you do you know, sit on it or something like that, it will make contact with the glass lens. That's why I recommend when you do fold them up, put them in the case that Persil supplies uh, you with. But here with the Steve McQueen edition, we can see it's nice and smooth and it still might make contact with the glass. However, it's making contact with this really nice smooth part of the hinge, which is definitely higher quality and doesn't seem like it's going to scratch the lens nearly as much as the non-Steve McQueen edition. So definitely something to note there. Now, I think most people believed, including myself for the longest time that that's where the differences really ended uh, with the folding mechanism. However, that is not the case. And I took a ton of measurements of these frames to show you guys what the actual differences between these two are. So another huge difference here, probably the biggest difference other than the hinge is the temple uh, height here. So the temples on the Steve McQueen are actually one millimeter thinner than the temples on the non-Steve McQueen edition. So here on the SM version, Version, we can see this nice temple and make sure to take a really close look at it. This is uh, 6.5 millimeters tall. And then here on the non SM version, we can see it definitely is a little bit taller here coming in at 7.5 millimeters. Now, not only is the height different, the non SM version actually has more of a taper here near the Meflecto stem system where the Steve McQueen edition is completely straight. There isn't you know that kind of taper there on the frame. So that is an extremely slight uh, detail, but definitely something to know that they're not just basically carbon copies of each other. Now, another difference here, which is actually really surprising, has to do with the uh, lower bridge. 
So the Steve McQueen edition have a space here uh, that is 8.22 millimeters and then the non Steve McQueen edition is actually a little bit less coming in at 7.53 millimeters. So just a very, very slight difference here, even though on theory, both these sunglasses have the exact same 54 millimeter lens size and the same 21 millimeter bridge. So in theory, these are identical. However, there is just very slight differences uh, between the two. Now, of course, another obvious difference between these two is the fact that the Steve McQueen edition say Steve McQueen in this really pretty font here on the inside left temple of the frames. And of course, that text is going to be missing here on the non Steve McQueen edition. Now, of course, there's also a pretty big price difference between the two. The Steve McQueen edition are going to run you around $486 with polarized lenses directly from Purcell's website and in most stores. And the non Steve McQueen edition are going to run you only $370 directly from Purcell's website and again in most stores. So there's a $116 difference between these two frames. Now, of course, with the Steve McQueen edition, you're also getting much more fancier packaging and a more fancy case and everything like that. Uh, but there is definitely quite a big price difference between these two. And because of that price difference, the actual Steve McQueen edition are definitely much more rare. You're not going to see them uh, pop up nearly as often as you are going to find the originals. Also, I believe Purcell doesn't make quite as many of the Steve McQueen edition. If you log into a sunglass hut, you're going to probably uh, find the 714 non Steve McQueen edition. However, it's going to be quite rare to actually walk into a sunglass hut and see the Steve McQueen edition just sitting there on on the shelf from what I've seen over the past five or so years. So yeah, that's about it for the differences. Uh, both these sunglasses look absolutely amazing in my opinion. Personally, I definitely do really like the Steve McQueen edition a little better than the regular. And oh, something else I did want to mention, the Steve McQueen edition from what I personally have seen actually have much better quality control than the originals. So because they have a much higher price, uh, Purcell is having an extra person or an extra two people People, take a look at each individual pair, making sure that the quality is perfect on every single one of these. Where with the non Steve McQueen edition, I've seen some definitely pretty shoddy build quality on a couple of these uh, where the quality control just wasn't quite as good as it should be. Again, it's rare. Personal does a really good job overall with their quality control. I've just seen more uh, bad quality control or, you know, loose temples or something like that on the non Steve McQueen edition. But on the actual Steve McQueen edition, it's like Personal put their number one and number Number two people on these frames to make sure they're the absolute best and kind of help justify that extra $118 price tag. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know which pair you guys like best in the comment section down below. I am very interested to know. But thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure you hit that subscribe button and then you'll be notified when I release a new video to this YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.